Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new gameplay video, and we have a new updated version of everybody's favorite control deck wheel warlock, which yes, all around the wheel of death, five turns or four kind of your, your opponent blows up after you delete your deck it allows you to cheat out your phenotum have your reno active you could shuffle in your symphony of sins but lately it's been refined a bit more where we're no longer running uh the doomkins to like de-ramp and ramp ourselves de-ramp our opponent and ramp um or so yeah de-ramp our opponent and ramp ourselves it's just all about cycling to get to that wheel of death faster and also use end game to summon very large demons because dark alley pact those minions those fiends that are summoned here they're demons these are demons here and you can get like a two mana nine nine and a two mana eight eight get those back it works really well of course with forge of wills can apply pressure really heavily there are some lists i've seen that are running still doomkin they're pretty competitive out there but this later this more like uh recent cycle version recommended by vicious syndicate seems to be performing well i'll be honest i pretty much struggled with it the whole time i was recording footage for this video but i was facing all the worst matchups because yes this deck still does struggle against aggro demon hunter sif mages of the world but it's really good against most of the field and um we even beat a sif mage we beat a nature shaman and yeah we did beat a warrior so check out the games and maybe you want to check out this new or fine list that is pretty solid and also your Loken basically never misses unless you know you, you drew every giant minion which i had happened twice but you won't see those games anyways if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friend don't think we keep wheel so apparently it's number four to keep L let's try let's try keeping the wheel see how it goes so we're trying vicious's list or at least one that they grabbed where um do i even play this on one i guess i guess we do um that have like end game it has end game because it's just really good with dark alley pact like two mana nine nine taunts and stuff like that um and we're not running the moonkins the ramp guys and we're running double like we're running more cycles like furnace field's got a weird interaction with wheel of death where it destroys it, you draw the cards. It's just, but you don't take fatigue, which just doesn't seem right, but it works because reason, so. Whole deck is just a weird interaction. It's why I got it wrong. It's why I got it wrong. Please watch my further reviews. I, I swear I try, but no, this is such a hard card to evaluate. But it's more of like, yeah, the Reno's nuts, the Phenotum, all that stuff. It's kind of crazy. So I think we just draw here. Job done. And we don't really have anything we want here. We would want the location. We would want Dark Alley packed. Got none of it! Blizzard won't let me draw well. It's what it's what happens when you complain. They rig your draws. They rig my draws. I'm I'm convinced of it. Otherwise I'd win every game. So yeah, we don't know what Death Knight we're facing. All I know is they're they're playing cards and it's 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 concerning, very concerning. They're playing very slow too, but you know, lots to think about. All right, let's frack. Um, I think we want Phenotum for sure, so we'll take that. And we can draw two, I think here. Yeah, we'll draw two. There right, we got Forge of Wills. I guess we're just ignoring this. And I'm not sure if the um, the token this summons, if it is a demon either. This is my like first game with this list. I'm not sure what, I know for sure Dark Alley Pack's a demon. You can get the 3-2 imp back, which is not great, but it is what it is. So I think what we're going to do here is just location tap again. Probably tap? No, we can't tap. We'll overdraw. I guess we location Drain Soul. Because, you know. Our health is getting depleted here. So let's just kill that. <clears throat> this next turn, Phenotum, we have one, two, three minions. So we're guaranteed to get Phenotum unless we top deck it. 
and I think we want the 15-15. Although we could honestly go right after into um, Sargeras. Because like on 6, we could take the Sargeras, get the 6-12. It's just, do I want the Phenotum for after I wheel? And again, they're probably playing Plagues. They're going to play Hellion, and then they just kind of blow up. But the weapon can help a little bit with that. Like, they're not playing anything. Oh, we'll see what we draw here. That might make our decision a lot easier. All right, so we got Symphony. We're playing Loken here. It's just, do we want Phenotum or do we want Sargeras? I feel like... We need Sargeras to win this game more than Phenotum right now. Reason being is we need the pressure on them. We need like the infinite value from the Sargeras tokens. So it is not a demon. The only thing that you really get the demon value in is on Dark Alley Pact. I'm wondering if this, <coughs> excuse me, this list is like really optimal or not, but we'll find out, I guess. So they clear my board. <coughs> I would imagine, yeah, they are very slow players. So I want to kill this. Like I consider symphoning, but I feel like we probably need to wait till um, after wheel, if we are going to wheel. I'm just worried about the plague situation, right? You, you delete your deck and then they play Hellia yeah and you just, you know, kind of go kaput. So if we can win by other means, that's kind of the thought process here. All right, I'm gonna frack again. Dark Alley Pack's very good. I have too many cards as it is. I have too many cards. I can't really leave that up though. So we're gonna kill it. <clears throat> and I guess we leave it at, at, as that. So next turn, <clears throat> I don't think I'm wheeling. I think what we're going to do is go for the big body. The big big presence on the board. Because if I wheel, I don't really have much of a follow. I mean, I have Symphony, but I don't even have Reno yet, so... We'll do this. We get a bigger demon this way. Clear the board. So yeah, this is a demon. Right, we got Reno. We have like kind of everything we want. Reno, Sargeras, two mana, nine, nine taunts. Seems legit. Cause I, I don't, I, yeah, like wheel is not ultimately the only way you can win with this deck. Like you can win with infinite stats, tempo. They've already used one Grime Walker. They have their hero card. They're going to have Reska. They have plenty ways, but. They can only infinitely answer this, right? They spent, uh, what, 10 corpses? So their, their nec necrotic could be pretty large. Arena is also active. Already. Regardless if we delete our deck or not. So there is that. But yeah, this guy's playing very, very slow. Sure. The most popular card in Hearthstone. So I think we just go for big boys here. Y you can kill it. You got... Oh, did they rope it out? Oh, no. They didn't quite get there. All right, let's make a, a two mana nine nine. Let's make another two mana nine nine. And um, I guess I just reverb this. Actually, we could hit the location. Let's tap. All right, that works better. All right, we got some nine nines on the board. So yeah, we, we're going to make them expend resources on this, then we'll Sargeras, and then we can wheel. 
So again, we don't have to go all in on the Reno strat right or on the wheel strat right away. I like that I kept this in my opener and it's just sitting there dead, but yeah, it's the way the game's developed. I think it makes sense. But yeah, the end game strat, kind of interesting. Getting two mana nine nine taunts is pretty disgusting. But yeah, they have Reska, they have another sickly grime walker, they have their hero card. But they gotta hit gotta hit some of that stuff or they're gonna be in trouble here. I don't think this is a bot, by the way. They play like a bot though. They certainly feel like a bot the way they're playing. So this is a Reska turn? Reska full clears and they steal. I think. Yeah. But they have played very slow, very weird, roped out that turn like a bot would. But I'm at 11x multiplier. I'm not like, I finished top like 800, 900 legend last season, so shouldn't be facing anything like that. If you have an 11x multiplier, you should be facing pretty decent stuff. Are they just dead? So there you go. We went with that strat and uh, it worked pretty well. And uh, Reno just ends it. Because we get that two damage hero power. Look at that. Who needs wheel? Just win with two mana nine nines. It's pretty good. And uh, I guess I got disconnected. We'll have to skip to the next game. Mage has got to be just terrible, terrible matchup. It's funny. I, again, it's like I wish I had Moonkin because like, I feel like the only way you can beat them is like stealing their mana and maybe getting the life thing going, but yeah, I think maybe just getting stats that they don't have the reverbs for. But even then, they just freeze your crap and gain a billion armor. So I don't know how valid that's gonna be. Oh boy, um, these are awful. I kind of, you know what? I think our win con is Symphony more than anything. Mill their Sif, I'm already on that line. That's how I gotta try and win. I gotta build their Sif. I've like, my first three games of this deck have been all terrible matchups. This has been great. At least we won the last one, but uh, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll make some big stuff. We'll see how it goes. We'll have a nice big taunt that they can reverb, but then I can reverb and then they can reverb the reverb and then we'll, we'll, we'll all reverb. Everybody reverbs. Interesting to do it that early. Yeah, I don't think Wheel really beats Mage. Unless their Sif is buried, I guess. But I'm basically always going to play Symphony on 5 and just hope to hit Mill. And hope I hit Sif or something important. Because, uh, yeah, Mage is one of the worst matchups. I think Zilliax Rogue is bad. Uh, you're, like, kind of close against the Demon or the demon Hunters. All right. Well, we got a, got ourselves a big, big old taunt. But yeah, a simple reverb, you could clear both. Or just a random star power, that works too. Wait, what? My opponents are very weird these days. All right, let's see what we got. Mill? No mill. All right, we'll just buff our dude then. It hit him in the face! Problem is, he's just gonna give him 14 armor! <laughs> and then another 14 armor, and then, oh, good lord. This is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. Alright, we're gonna hit our Sargeras here, though. And this is a 9 9. We got a lot of stats going here. These are some serious stats. Will it matter? I don't know, because he could freeze and gain a million armor, but they can only freeze so many minions, right? But I yeah, got, what, four, four freezes that all gain a million armor? Could be pretty rough, and reverb, of course. Which he top decked, unfortunately. Unless that's just another freeze. They're really thinking about what to reverb, I think. Yeah. So this is going to be almost impossible. 
It's just such a hard matchup. I mean, they're gonna take 21 while gaining four, another 14 armor. It's something. It's something. We'll go with that. All right, so how do we want to try and win? <laughs> that's that's the tricky part. I mean, I want to heal as much as I can, I think, here. So let's summon more stats. We'll heal for five. Hit them for 21. I like how Mage gets better armor now, depending on the minions, than like Warrior or Druid, which has always been ridiculous. But yeah, two freezes down, reverbs down, but I can just blow up at it pretty much any point already. But all we can do is apply as much pressure as we can. I'm wondering if I furnace fuel and just try and hit um, Envy, but they already have drawn half their deck. So I don't even know if that's a viable strat. Yeah, they drew both freezes. So that's rough. That's another... It's just insane. It's actually insane. All right, give me Envy. Never Envy. Um, There is a Furnace Fuel. All right, let's do this. Have I had one of these big taunts die? Uh, I had a Dark Alley Pack die. So I think I take Endgame. And then we just get another body on the board and hope for the best. But like, there are like 50 plus health. And again, I could just be dead. Because Sif... Malagos was too good. Can't be the core set at 9 mana, but Sif at 6. It's fine. Oh, man. My Reno is active if I get it. Not another freeze. They have just so many freezes, you just can't really interact. And they've drawn their whole deck. They've gained a million armor. I don't think we get there, but... Gotta try. If I Reno, they can't reverb their Sith. If that matters at all. I don't think it does. But yeah, I, uh, I don't have what I need. But we can hit him, I guess. So they definitely have to have Sif if they're overdrawing like this. Ah, oh, one turn too short. One turn too short. Well, I guess we're dead. Oh, they they played the uh, the mech. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. Well, I guess we're not dead yet. Random blizzard time. They have the one mana freeze they can get. So so much stats on the board. Got the random one mana freeze. No. Oh. Okay, so one freeze and then another freeze. <laughs> Imagine trying to be able to interact. Oh, we got him! Let's go! Only so many freezes! So yeah, you can see just the, the stat pressure against the mage. Can do some work. So showing how we could win against these uh, pretty rough matchups, but holy... That is so much armor is so gross. This isn't nature shaman because I don't think we stand a chance against that uh, solitaire experience, but I don't think there's that many uh, Reno shamans out there these days. Flash of Lightning is just a card that I don't understand why they constantly nerf around it and don't hit the key issue with the deck. Like doing the gift just didn't matter like at all. It's just very frustrating experience. But, I don't know, maybe we can build some stats that they, uh, they can't really deal with very well. We'll have to see. Yeah, I can't particularly take this damage. We'll just play this next turn, go into Symphony, see what happens. 
But the games aren't interesting against it. It's just a really unfun deck. That typically stuff you don't want in Hearthstone. So we'll see if the next major patch they'll actually address it in any real way. But I'm I find it I'd rather just not play Hearthstone when I face it. Like I'll take the Demon Hunter deck twenty times over. My opponent trying to OTK me on turn five with no board. You know, it's just not a cool experience, to say the least. All right, I don't even know what I want to get off of this, but I don't think Defile is the play. So we'll see what we can do here. Let's build a big boy, I guess. Build a big boy, I suppose, but we're probably just dead in a couple turns anyways. I don't know, can they freeze us? I'm not sure. But yeah, they just play Flash of Lightning and then they kind of just win. It's pretty fun. They get to play their Wheel of Death for two mana. <laughs> it's like... Oh, it's just a, not a good experience. And the gameplay is... There's no interesting gameplay, that's for sure. All right, well, we'll hit him for 12. We shall hit him for 12. I'm just thinking of what I want to do here. Probably draw. This heals me for more, so let's just do that. They haven't played Flash Lighting, so I shouldn't be dead or anything, but they could probably kill this by now. Okay, so I guess I die next turn. Pretty cool experience. Pretty cool experience, I must say. So we'll do that, kill this, but yeah, I, I guess we just die at 30 here. Not much we can do. And it's not like the, the games are fun one way or the other, it's like... There's no decision making. There just isn't. And he plays Fizzle for some reason, okay. So he can kill me twice. <laughs> but yeah, this is the way it goes. We're at 30 health. Cards don't cost mana. Do they have the draw to like facilitate this? I guess they can tutor the spell. Yeah, cards still don't cost mana. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I took 20 damage, lost the board. Sorry, 20, 23 damage, lost the board. But I guess they're at the mercy of the top deck, so... Maybe, just maybe, we can get there. So we're gonna tap, heal up a little bit. We're going to frack. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter which one I take. Forge Wills is, or Phenotum's not happening, so I guess I just take this. We clear, and then we get that two mana demon. Two mana seven seven, and hope they don't top deck a good card here. But if they just get, like, the snapshot, I guess I'm just dead. <laughs> Because they played another flash. Alright, we can heal again. I do not think it is uh, Sargeras time, because we want to get another 7-7 seven, seven and try and finish the deal. Can draw six cards. Is there ever a lethal with that? I don't think there is. Even dealing six doesn't do it. There's ways I can heal through it. But I think we just ultimately want to do this. So we heal as much as possible. I guess I could have done that first, but then I wouldn't hit for the seven. 
So yeah, hopefully we're not dead. The flash is done. But ugh. Like this is not an interesting game. I'll probably leave it in just so you guys can see it if we win, but like it's just everything I can't stand about like Hearthstone decks is this type of crap. So um I don't think there's any card that kills me here. Even Flash of Lightning is deal what? Uh, four? Yeah. Like it's just the game win or lose, it's just not good Hearthstone, so. There you go, we beat a nature shaman. Riveting stuff. All right, so Warrior's supposed to be our best matchup. I, I mean, it, the Mulligan stats are so weird that they offer me. There's no way keeping Sargeras is correct. There's just, just no way. There's no way. Can't see it. I cannot see it being correct. We want a wheel. We want to wheel. All right, well, we'll take the Dark Alley Pact. I don't think the others are gonna do us a lot. The end game doesn't do much without the Dark Alley Pact anyways, right? So yeah, let's, uh, let's just do that. All right, that's what you wanna see, Fanatum. It's broken, only 21 mana. I just need a few coins, we'll get there. If only there was one spell that made it cause zero. Forge of Wills. We won't have the biggest demon in the world, but I think it's fine. It's fine. I'm just wondering if I want a Symphony on five. I, I don't think you want a Symphony until you find your, um, your wheel, right? We need that more than anything. Oh, well, it's just a four mana six six, but it'll also be a two mana six six. We can draw two cards next turn too. But yeah, this would be where Endgame would be the Doomkin card, which I, I don't I don't know. The numbers I've looked, they're really close on both. But like yeah, cycling to try and get to that stuff faster, I guess, but Doomkin lets you play it faster. But like the furnace fuels can help you find it. Like I don't have them right now at all, right? So all right, they're using the coins to remove. I'm pretty happy with that. Like that doesn't seem like a great play. All right, let's draw. Yeah, I think I care more about getting the draw than um, getting a 6-6 six, six here. Like we want wheel. That just beats warrior pretty much always. All right. Well, let's me hit into this, which is nice. Order. All right, we'll tap. No sign of our wheel. We'll just put more stats on the board. Yeah, we would have Doomkin right here. They'd be at five mana, we'd be at seven. We don't have much to do with that mana. But we would have it. All right, let's get our Sargeras. It's to help us thin our deck. We don't want to mill. Guess we'll apply pressure. But yeah, bottom 10. We got our wheel, we got Reno. But you don't want to shuffle this stuff because then you're less likely to find it, so... This is the only way we can really lose. They curve into Bran, they get Boom Boss, and we can't find Wheel. It's like the only uh, real recipe to lose here. They need board clears too, because we're putting a lot of pressure here. But like Gift Brawl, probably ends up happening. But yeah, I think if we, if we just see Wheel, we play it. Yeah, Gift Brawl, 2-1 always wins. Never lucky. All right, at least uh, I kept a minion. But yeah, we really need our wheel here. Okay, we can try and fracking for it. We do not hit it. I have too many cards as it is. 
Well, we draw some more. We draw some more. It's gonna be our last card, isn't it? Four cards left. Oh, that's unlucky. And they're gonna have Boom Boss, right? <laughs> this is the way... Oh, I've been recording quite a bit tonight. I've been running very bad. I wanna get one wheel game for you guys. This is like my last shot at it. It's just not working. It's one of those days where you just can't win. They always have Brand into Boom Boss. They've drawn less than half of their deck. It's insane, but what can you do, right? Some days you're just not supposed to win. All right, can we get it? No, we don't, so we're gonna die. Yep, we couldn't even get it. That's, that's insane. All right, well, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna tap. It is completely buried. It is completely buried. Well, I get it next turn, but it's probably gonna get blown up. Unfortunately. That is crazy. It is crazy how consistent this has been happening to me. Okay, he didn't get it immediately. Maybe there's still a chance. <laughs> like, it's been outrageous. It's been outrageous! Oh, they're fully excavated. They can't play the reward yet. And we do have Reno, maybe, to take care of it. What a tragedy! Okay, so I think I want to tap, right? I don't want the furnace fuel to go off. Oh wait, no, that'll over- no matter what, I, yeah. It doesn't matter. All right. I don't know if I'm really keen on that in uh, that card being in our deck. Well, they're low. I think I hold every card I can. So if they blow it up, it's maybe they don't blow up the removal I might need. Because ideally, I want to just Reno this next turn. Their Reno isn't active. But they have all those bombs, right? No, that can be bad. That's eight to my face, possibly. That's 16 to my face. Now they're gonna go for a rat here? They could go for a rat, I guess. Kind of helps me out, though. If they get a rat and they pull out my Phenotum... No, no, they, they go for um, the swap, the draw swap, right? Yeah. I imagine that's what they do. And then next turn, everything gets blown up and I have to somehow survive that. Oh, we didn't want that. <laughs> it's just like the game does not want me to win. It's straight up, like, nope, they're all going face. Screw you, buddy. Can't even take the six. So now if I take any damage, I'm dead. I guess I heal. I'm expecting to get TNT'd here and uh, I won't be able, yep, yep. It's just the way it's been going, Dad. But I mean, they're gonna blow up my deck anyways here. And yeah, I can't stop the fatigue, so I think I just lose again. Holy crap. But maybe they don't have Gaslight in their ETC. If they don't, I think we're fine. But uh, I'm guessing they do. Yeah, Brian into Boomboss is the only way they can win. That is not active. There is no chance that's active. So we should be totally fine now. They're just dead. 
We don't even get to see the wheels go. Unlucky. All right. I want a game against Warrior. So yeah, this new list, it's doing really well. It just, for me, it's been a bit of a struggle, but overall, um, yeah, wheel lock, definitely here to stay.